So, 2012, higher, paper 2, question 1. Functions of functions. Right, first part. Find f of g of x. Well, g of x is simply this, x plus 4, and then f acts on this. So f does what f does, which is whatever it gets hold of, it squares it and adds 3. It's got hold of this thing, so it duly squares it and adds 3. Right, sort that out, multiply that bracket. Square the bracket, square the first, twice the product, 4x doubled, 8x, square the last, 4 squared, 16, add on 3, and there you are, x squared plus 8x plus 19. For that part, this one, this will be easier. G, what's it got to act on? f of x, which is x squared plus 3. What does G do? Whatever it gets hold of, it takes it, right, so it's taking this x squared plus 3, and it adds on 4. Well, that's just going to be x squared plus 7. So there's my two expressions for the first part. Second part, b. Show that, oh, I'll have to write all this out. Right, for the second part, show that this thing, this equation, has got no real roots. Well, that's a discriminant question. What have we got? Well, the first part was x squared plus 8x plus 19. The g part was x squared plus 7. That should equal 0. Tidying that lot up, I've got two lots of x squared plus an 8x plus a 26 to equal 0. Now, I'm not going to try and solve that. You could knock off the twos, simplify your calculation, because the discriminant will be the same no matter what you use there. But I'll just stick with it the way it is. So I'll work out for this what b squared minus 4ac is. b squared minus 4ac. I'll put that in a b bracket, because there was no b's or anything mentioned. So I inverted commas. So what have I got? I've got 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times 26. 64 minus 8 times that. 8, 6 is 48. 4 over. So that's going to be 208. <coughs> that subtraction took the other way round, and we've got 4, 1, 4, 4, but it's negative. The discriminant is negative, so there's no real roots. But at 144, it's got some nice wee complex roots. Still, I didn't ask for that, so I have to make a statement now. So I have to say, since the discriminant, since the discriminant is less than 0, that means that the equation, maybe I'll give it a name, means equation 1 has no real roots. And there you are, off to a flying start for question 1.